Christian man. Because if he is born again, he would follow the Bible, every teaching in the Bible, and then we will be in perfect harmony and unity in Christ. So I prayed like this every day for a year and a half. Can you imagine that? A year and a half of praying, and the prayer is not being answered because every man I met was not attractive in my eyes, right? Meanwhile, my two girlfriends uh, at church told me that when I pray, when we pray, we need to, we must help Jesus and uh, make sure that our prayers come true. And so he said, so I said, oh, what is that? He says, uh, they said that uh, I must go visit different churches and see who's available. <laughs> and so they were suggesting me to go church shopping. And since I was a brand new Christian and I didn't know better, I listened to their suggestions. And uh, next Sabbath, uh, I got myself all dressed up and I went to church in Wayne, uh, New Jersey, looking for a husband to be, right? Can you imagine this a foolish girl? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I, when I got to uh, that church, a uh, Sabbath school lesson had begun, and I saw a man leading out the uh, lesson studies. And he was kind of cute, you know, and he was in early 30s, it looks like, you know, and uh, I said, hmm, I don't think he's married. But the lesson got so interesting, and I had forgotten about it, and, and I was engrossed in the lesson. After we finished the lesson and we came back to the sanctuary, he was leading out the sound service. And I thought, wow, he must be a born-again Christian because he's doing so many things in the church. And uh, I said, hmm, I wonder if he's single, you know, again. And then suddenly I heard the voice of God. Child, yeah, why are you here? Huh? Well, to worship you, of course. It's a Sabbath, isn't it? And Jesus said, are you sure? And then I realized my mission to that church that morning. It wasn't to worship God, but it was to find a husband, look for a husband. I burst into tears of repentance and I apologized. And I said, Jesus, I'm so sorry. I would never, never, never do this again because Sabbath is holy unto you and I must worship you. And you know, God is a jealous God. He doesn't want our minds to wander. He wants our minds to be focused on Him. Amen? Mm -hmm. And to mm -hmm. love Him and adore Him holy sabbath day so after two weeks of this uh, so i stopped going i, I gave up uh, and i said forget it i'm married to you i don't need a husband <laughs> but after two weeks um my girlfriends again nagged me and they, they invited me to go to this uh uh, uh year-end party for uh, ay's and but i flat out refused and say no 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 i'm not church shopping and I'm not interested in anything. And they stayed back to me and nagged me and they wouldn't leave me alone until I consented, you know. And then that day was a December 13, 1986. December 13, 1986. Okay, so, um, but once I got there, I was an admin that I would worship God on, and only on His Holy Sabbath day. So I sat right in front of the pew and when they said way in the back, you know. But I came alone and sat alone in the front and the sermon was perfect for me because the sermon was on Jeremiah chapter 1 verse uh, 9. It says, the Lord reached out his hand and he put his word in my mouth and the preacher based on that verse told us how we must go and spread the word. And that's what Jesus said to me on the day that I was born, you know. And so um, I was filled with the Holy Spirit and raptured in his love and his word. And as uh, we were leaving, and, you know, since I was in the front, I got up first to leave, and I was greeting people, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. And then Kevin was sitting where uh, uh, Karen was sitting, and uh, he got up, and he looked back. Who's the, I mean, he, he came to me. He was going to go out, and then he turned around, he looked at me, and he says, hi, are you a visitor? I said, yes. He said, oh, I'm a member here. My name is Kevin. And he introduced himself. <laughs> and then there was a Yonkers church in New York. And so uh, uh, we, that's how we met, and uh, AYs uh, uh, played games uh, after sundown, because in New York, uh, December uh, 13th, the sun was coming down at 4.30, because we do the daylight savings time, okay? So we were having a good time, and uh, Kevin uh, came and let me know, hinted me that he liked me. And then he asked me for my phone number, 
and uh, we <laughs> he was quick. <laughs> so big. So big. And so while while I was dating him though, you know, because I dated a few people, a few men, and so um, I was the doubt was going through and uh, going through my mind, you know, that can this be the man that I could trust and share my life with, and I was totally confused. And I read the whole book of the uh, the message to the young message to young people and all that. And still, I felt unsettled, you know. And so I prayed to God. I said, you know, God, I want a sign like you gave Gideon, you know, not the, the fleece, uh, wet fleece and dry fleece, but if he is a truly a born again Christian man, whenever we have a problem or whatever problem may be, he would suggest that we would pray about it. You know, and then I had forgot about the uh, request, the sign that I had asked God. One day, you know, uh, at work I had a great, great uh, problem, and I tried to remember the problem. So I came home, and I could just, as I was unlocking the door, I can hear the phone ringing, you know, because it was Kevin calling every day faithfully, 6 p.m. I answered the phone, and sure enough, it was him. And so immediately, I'm bursting out with my complaints and, 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 and anger and, and all that to him. And you know, usually I expect uh, people on my side you, you would get um, excited with me, you know. But instead, he was so calm and collective, and he said, uh huh, I see, I see. He was so calm, uh, calm that uh, it calmed me down. You know, and I thought, oh, this is amazing. How tranquil this is. Even though I was excited, I, I, you know, fire was out. And then he said to me, well, why don't we pray about it? And then suddenly I, I said, pray? Oh, why didn't I think of it? Because I was so excited, I had forgotten to pray. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay. And so I knelt, and he began to pray first. And then uh, as uh, he was praying, I heard God speaking, child, yeah? Do you remember you asked for a sign whether Kevin was a born again Christian man or right man for you or not? I said, yeah, this is it, like that. And then I looked at the situation and here he was praying and I'm praying and uh, it was an answer to my request, you know, my prayer. God was giving me a sign that Kevin was the right man. Right. And so from that moment on, I trusted Kevin. And uh, I let down my, you know, uh, guard. And we have been married for 26 years, and he had never, never let me down. And uh, he had always supported, supported me, and uh, he had always uh, been with me and kind to me. You know, I tell you, I am married to a walking Jesus. I have a hot temper. Uh, not that I get angry, but I get excited. My voice goes up. But that doesn't mean I'm angry. It's just that, ah, oh, you know, and I have a, that kind of a character. But he is like a calm sea, you know, and he's always uh, California weather. He's always sun shining. <laughs> never, never negative, never, never <laughs> under the weather or rain or cloudy. He's always happy person, happy go lucky person. And I am so blessed to have uh, Kevin as my husband, you know. <laughs> and uh, on my wedding day, uh, as I was getting ready in the basement of the church, you know, and it was a uh, Kevin's uh, uh, family reunion, you know, so he had over 200 members in his family, mm -hmm. relatives got gathered at uh, uh, South Dakota, and uh, people upstairs were singing, but you know, I didn't even have a single person there <laughs> on my side, and so I was kind of uh, scared and nervous because uh, uh, I was alone. I felt very sad and lonely. And then I heard them singing, you know, and uh, how great thou art. And not only that, the groom's party <laughs> were, were late in coming. And so, you know, I was getting nervous. Did Kevin change his mind, you know? <laughs> and so when I heard the word, how great thou art, I said to my sisters-in-law who were assisting me, oh, you know, that's my favorite song. And then suddenly I felt the whole area holy. I felt the presence of God coming near to us, you know? And then I said, oh! And uh, Jesus said to me, my child, I have come to bless you. I just started crying and I told my sisters-in-law, 
hey, Jesus is here. And they looked at me like a bewildered, you know, they could not believe what I was talking about. They probably thought I was crazy or something, you know. And, but my child, I have come to bless you. I was so happy. You know, uh, my marriage, I believe, I worship you. And I lift up your name on high. Thank you so much for blessing us, giving us life, creating us and redeeming us and providing for us. Even though we are weak, fragile, and we fall constantly, may you forgive our sins. May you forgive our known and unknown sins. And may you reveal what we ought to be through your word, that we may become more like you and be converted every day and be born again every day. We yearn for your second coming. And meanwhile, Father, as we uh, dwell on this uh, pilgrimage, may you uh, bless us and help us and teach us your ways. Please bless our Sabbath school lesson discussion today and help all of us to be filled with your Holy Spirit. Lead and guide us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, church. Enjoy your Sabbath school lesson. And young people, listen. Are you worried about your future and whether you will find the right man for you? Don't worry, but trust in Jesus and pray. Mm -hmm. I claimed this Bible text when I was praying for my husband to be. Psalm 37, verses 3 and 4. It says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself in the, also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. You know, I claim that this Bible text all the time and claim. I say, Jesus, you know, I obey you. In my, you know, my uh, uh, standard, I thought I was following God to my best. And, and I love you and I trust in you. Therefore, please give me my desire. And that is, I want to born again Christian man. And so God fixed me up. He was the matchmaker. And funny thing is that after I met Kevin, you know what Kevin said to me? I had been praying for a woman with, filled with the Holy Spirit for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So you never know who God is preparing for you, you know? Mm -hmm. So because it's the same time period, and I was praying for a born-again Christian man, he was praying for a woman with the Holy Spirit, you know? And so we met, and uh, today we have a um, family. I have my daughter here. Today is the first time my daughter and my husband both are here. This is so exciting for me because... Uh, I, I've been worshiping here alone for the last three months, you know, and now my daughter is going to give a special item. And uh, my husband, Kevin, could you please stand up? <laughs> and that's my husband. Please welcome him. And this is my daughter, Crystal. Would you please stand up? Okay. <laughs> All right. She's going to give us a special item. And uh, I hope and pray that you'll be blessed. God bless you. Thank you. I didn't think That's you you don't speak in like uh, only sign uh, language. Yeah. Because oh, she's a she's perfect person. Yeah. Yeah. Her yeah. Korean is better than my Korean. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful language. Beautiful language. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. I'm a Kim and this is Annie. <laughs> I want to say more. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on in. Come on, oh, come on. You hit the button one. Let me hide from that. Very simple. Yeah, yeah. 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 Where? Yes, yes. Where? Um, I'm going back to school. His father saw the fourth commandment, the seventh commandment, as a 